let's get into this, man. We have one of what I would say the worst funerals that you could possibly have out there. And it's shocking to me that even the pastor of this church would allow this to happen at a funeral. But I'll digress. I, I, I definitely will before we get into the clip. After all, this is somebody's funeral. But it still doesn't take away why I believe this should not happen in the house of God. Let's check this out. So I get it. People grieve in different ways and people have to be able to express themselves in different ways. But I just think that this was completely disrespectful to the house of God. Honestly, I mean, and I honestly am not the only person that believed that. I think that that was honestly saying honestly a lot. But seriously, <laughs> I believe that it was a terrible thing to let happen inside of a church. I know it's a funeral. I know people are going through things. I know that, you know, maybe for her, he was probably a deep loved one, but it was just very provocative, if you will, to do something like that inside of a church. And I know that, like I said, people have to grieve differently, but as a man of God, you know, if, if, if I'm going to be in that position, I'm not going to lead a eulogy. I'm not going to be the representation of, of the authority of Christ, if you will, inside of a building and let that take place. I feel that although you need to grieve in different ways, and although I guess some people would say that this is a cultural type of a thing to do, but if I'm being honest, they kind of look like they got the same pigmentations that I've got. And I don't agree with that. You know, I don't think that that is the way to honor and even give someone respect to someone who's lived a life and who has gone on to see the Lord, if that is the message that we're trying to send there in that moment. I mean, you're having a funeral inside of the house of God. So I would like to believe that those were people that believe that this gentleman here that passed away is going on to a better life with the Lord. But this is the way that we're going to pay homage, if you will, pay respect, pay due to that knowledge, to that understanding. I think it's sad. Some of the people in the comment section there of that video, the way I would have gathered my belongings and just walked right back on out i mean it's right there you know kermit was out of order i guess all the green <laughs> calling her hermit the frog um but yeah old school families wouldn't have allowed that and then the creator responded not at all would have stopped this immediately this is terrible like there there was a time where there was an obvious authority in the church where people knew that hey we got to keep this under control there's just certain things that don't happen in the church just because we give respect to the church and it's not that because you're being hypocritical, like, oh, so outside of the church, you do whatever you want. But when you come in the church, you got to be this person that you're not. No, no one is saying that she couldn't be just as, you know, outgoing as she is presenting herself to be. Uh, but there is a way to be outgoing and respectful. Um, and that right there is just it was almost a show that she was putting on. So it makes me ask, bro, are we here to give honor and reverence to our brother here in Christ, who's, who's who's gone on to meet the Lord? Are we here to celebrate that life and that transition 
you know, to go on back with Christ? Or are we here to kind of show dance moves and we're here to kind of parade our own, you know, gyrating and jucking and jiving moves around the pulpit, around the church? I, I can't see why that pastor was so calm back there. I, I, I just, I, I literally can't. Someone else said, so sad, just made a flat mockery of this young man's homegoing service. I don't even know them, and I'm embarrassed. That's that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. I don't know them, and I feel embarrassed. I feel that this is a very sad way. You know, if, 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 if it's a cultural thing, if it's just, a, I don't know, a, a geographical thing, like it's not happening culturally, but it's just happening in certain places of the world, this has got to stop. It's not right, and it's not a good look. It's not a good look, especially in the house of God. Exactly what someone has said in the comment section, not in the church, not in the house of the Most High God. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, man. People got to stop this stuff. People really have to stop this stuff. And I really can't believe that the pastor was there. I mean, maybe he was kind of just ignoring it because he maybe had an understanding that, look, people just got to be with and do what they got to do. And people just got to work through this grieving process. But I think I would have had to have stopped it. I would have had to have, even in the middle of it. You know, maybe he didn't know what was going to happen before. But I feel that if I was in that position, I would have had to stop right there in the middle and say, look, we're going to go ahead and carry on because this is still the house of God. So the spirit of God must be acknowledged. It's just the church isn't a place to play around. And I know people are trying to move into this new way where it's like we need to be all inviting. I know William Murphy's on a huge kick on that right now. We need to be all inviting from all concepts and thoughts and things and people and cultures of the world. That's 100 percent true. And that is OK to get people invited inside of Christianity into the faith and knowing of Jesus Christ. But at what expense to where the church is now becoming a playground? The church is becoming what? A circus? Nah, that's where we got to be careful with that. That's where we want to be extremely careful with what we're doing in the church. <clears throat> because the church is the bride of Christ, man. So we have to be very careful of how we decide to treat the bride of Christ. It, it, it's definitely something that we should not be taking lightly. And I know we're moving in this era right now where a lot of churches are conforming more and more to the world you know, because they want their attendance to increase, because they want more people to be there. But like I said, at what expense are we teaching and spreading the gospel? You know, the message is very simple. The message of Jesus Christ is very simple. It's a great message. It's a beautiful message. It's a message that can save a lot of people and can help a lot of people from a lot of different things, depending on what you're going through. It's a beautiful message. But at what expense are people going to spread such a simple, beautiful message. You know, it's just very sad to see the direction that the church is going in. It's very sad. I know we have a focus on the new and the new people, and let's get new people in more, 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 more. Let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. But I feel that the church should not forget about its foundation, the basics, and that's nurturing and fostering disciples of Jesus Christ and this is no way to allow someone to behave inside of the church inside of the house of God something's got to change I know people think maybe it's it's a cool way to do it people were saying oh this is cultural you just don't understand I'm black and we don't do this you know we're we're dressed pretty decently and nice at funerals and we hold ourselves with character, you know, good character at that, you know, great posture and respect for the people around us, for the people there in attendance to grieve. You know, there were some people that were in the audience in the congregation there just going at it and just having a grand old time. But like someone said in the comment section, you look at those older faces, man, some of those seasoned saints, as people would say, you see some of them seasoned saints and. It just wasn't the way that it should have been, man. You can tell that it's just uncomfortable, you know, for you to kind of turn someone's funeral into a strip club, if you will. That's all I got for you guys on this one. I appreciate it if you guys stayed this long. To the next one. I'm out.